continue from my last video welcome back uh, we want to calculate we finished here in the last video if you remember uh, we talked about percent means out of 100 then I showed you how to divide by 100 thousand and ten and then uh, I showed you some important facts that you need to remember it's helpful so half is 50 percent a quarter is 25 percent uh, then one fifth is 20 percent uh, you can say one tenth is 10 percent and one hundredth is one person so there's one more fact that you can remember from one quarter I hope you understand one eighth is a half of a quarter so if a quarter one quarter is 25 percent one eighth is half of 25 percent so i don't know half of 25 so you can what is half of 20 that is 10 and what is half of 5 it is 2.5 so one eighth this is also a good fraction to or uh, decimal fraction to decimal to remember okay it's very useful okay so let us move on so we want to find 26 percent of 65 so as i told you always start at 10 percent so if you write 10 percent is one tenth of this so one tenth means you're dividing by 65 divided by 10. so what did i tell you when you're dividing by 10 there's a decimal point here sitting here which is not visible so here you're dividing by 10 and 10 has one zero so this decimal point will move one place to the left so this is 6.5 okay so we want uh, five percent will be helpful so five percent would be half of this okay so that is 65 divided by 2 so 6.5 divided by 2 so half of 6 is 3 and uh, half of 0.5 which is 0 0.50 you can write this again as a placeholder okay so instead of writing 6.5 you can write 6.50 so you can think like this half of 3 6 is 3 and half of you can put a point here and half of 50 is 25 just like that okay then it will be useful to get say one percent okay one percent is as you, as i told you in the last video is one tenth of this okay so let me write that again one percent is one tenth of ten percent and we know already ten percent is six point five so which is six point five divided by 10 so again the decimal point will move two places to the sorry one place to the left so this is 0 0.65 so the purpose of this video is to show you how you can do without the calculator so let us rewrite all the facts that we know so can i say 10 percent if 10 percent is 6.5 can i write 20 percent is double of 10 percent okay so how do you do double so this is 6.5 times 2 so half so double of 6 is 12 and half double of 0.5 which is 0 0.50 is 1 okay so this is 6.5 plus 6.5 you can understand this 13.5 Zero, 0 I'm going to write zero, 0 with a reason then we know 5% 5% we already know is 3.25 and then you already also know that 1% is 1% is 0 0.65 and I want 25 26% I hope you can see 20% 26% is 20% plus 5% plus 1%. So to add this, so I've lined up the decimals or decimal points and you have to line, add them. So this is 5, 5 plus 5 is 10, carry over 1. Okay, 
then 1 plus 0 is 1, plus 2 is 3, plus 6 is 9. I'll show you later on how to do this on a calculator. In real life, you don't need to do this. You need a calculator. You can do faster. But as uh, students in primary school, you need to know how the calculator works. So no remainder, and 13 plus 3 is 16. So 16.90 is 26% of, what was the number? I forgot, 65. Okay, let me change color. This is too monotonous, so let me use a bright color. Now here again, the same process. Let me draw a line here. Okay, so first 10%. 10% means you're dividing by 10. So that is 18 divided by 10. Now 18 has a decimal point here. 10 has 1, 0. So this will become 1 point. I'll write 8, 0. You can write 1.8, but you can write 1.8 or 1.80. So 5% I'll do in a different way. So let me directly write 20%. So 20% is double of 10%, which is 1.80 plus 1.80. Yeah, I'm doing it in a different way. So point, if you want to do this, so that is 1.80 plus 1.80. Okay. So that is 0. 8 plus 8 is 16 decimal point you always line up the decimal point and then you got to remainder one so this is three point six so let me rewrite so twenty percent is three point six zero so now we want to find uh, five percent okay so let me rewrite so ten percent is one point eight zero so this is you can this you can see this as 180 cents one dollar 80 cents we are finding this is 18 dollars this is one dollar 80 cents which is one dollar has 80 sorry 100 cents so 1.8 you can write this as 180 cents okay i'm going to do this in a different way okay so 10% is 100 1.80 1 which is let me erase this i need more space here i'm going to show this in a different way so just we say that 10% is 1 dollar 80 cents so 1 dollar 80 which is 180 cents so 1% one percent would be one tenth of this one percent would be one tenth of this which is 180 divided by 10 which is 18 cents am I making sense okay 18 cents you can write that as a decimal this is 0. Point one eight. I hope I have not confused you, but let me finish this off. So what happens now? So let me rewrite. So ten percent. Okay, no, we know twenty percent. So what? So we know twenty percent is twenty percent is three dollar sixty. Let me write the dollar sign. Three dollar sixty. Then we need five percent. Okay, 5% is half of 10%. 10% is 180 cents. So 5% is half of 180, which is 90 cents. Okay, and 90 cents can be written as 0 0.90. And then we already know 1%. 1% is 0 0.18. Okay, I, I think I took a difficult example here to start with. I'll do easier example in the next video. So 26%, you simply add up the numbers. 
Okay, let me go over this. This is slightly difficult. Okay, let, what did I say? So 10% is one tenth of this. So 10% is 18 divided by 10, which is $1.80. And I said $1.80 is same as 180 cents, which will be useful later on. So 20% is double of 10%, which is $1.80 plus $1.80, which is $3.60. So 20% we can write is $3.60. Okay, moving forward. Right now what did we say? 10% is... One dollar eighty, which is one eighty cents. So one percent is one tenth of ten percent. So that's why I divided by ten of one eighty cents. So that is eighteen cents. That can be written as point one eight dollars. So finally, we got twenty percent, which is three dollars sixty. Five percent is point 90 which is 90 cents and this is 18 cents so i will simply add them up so 0 plus 0 plus 8 is 8 remainder no remainder okay so 6 plus 9 is 15 plus 1 is 16 okay line of the decimal one remainder and 3 plus 1 is 4 so 26 percent will be 4.68 see you in the next video